In this video, I will consider one numerical on maximum power transfer theorem. In this network shown below, two voltage sources act on the load impedance connected to the terminal A and B. If this load is variable in both reactants and resistance, what load ZL will receive maximum power? What is the value of maximum power? This is the given circuit. So here the two sources, one is 50 volt voltage source, another one is 25 angle 90 voltage source are acting on ZL. We are supposed to calculate the value of ZL so that it will receive the maximum power. Also we have to find the value of maximum power. So here we are supposed to apply maximum power transfer theorem. So in maximum power transfer theorem, to the first step is we have to remove this load impedance from the circuit. So first remove this load impedance from the circuit so that the terminal A and B will become open and find current in the circuit. So let me remove this ZL from the circuit. So the circuit looks like this. There was a ZL that I have removed. Now we can find there is only one loop. First I will find the current in the circuit. Let me find current in the circuit by applying KVL to this loop. So I will assume current I is flowing in the circuit. Apply KVL to this loop. That is apply KVL. So that I will start from here. That is 50 angle 0 is equal to. We can see that phi J5 3 ohm minus J4. All are in series. Phi plus 3 8. Then J4 minus J, J, J5 minus J4 is J1. So I can write 8 plus J1 into I. That is voltage across. That is the total impedance into I. And here we have. So this arrow indicates the direction of flow of current or polarity. So here this polarity is positive. This polarity is negative. So we can write it as plus 25 at an angle 90 degree. So with the help of this equation find I. So therefore I can write. I can simplify this as 50 minus 25 angle 90 is equal to we have 8 plus J1 I. So therefore I can write I is equal to 50 minus 25 at an angle 90 degree divided by we have 8 plus J1. So directly feed these values in the calculator so that we will get the result. So the result is 5.769 and we have minus J 3.846 amps. So in polar form this can be represented as Six point nine three is the magnitude, and the angle is minus thirty three point six nine degree amps. So now to find the maximum power in the load, we have to bring this network equivalent to Thevenin's network. So in Thevenin's network, we know that. We need VTH and RTH. VTH is the voltage between the open terminal A and B and RTH is the equivalent resistance between terminal A and B. So first let me calculate VTH. So VTH is nothing but the voltage between terminal A and B. So let me find VTH that is let me write here only. So VTH is nothing but voltage between terminal A and B that is VTH. So just I will solve it like this. So this 50 is equal to voltage across this is 5 plus J5 I and the voltage between these two terminal is I will write it as either VAB or VTH both are same VTH or VAB. So therefore I can write VTH is equal to 50 minus 5 plus J5 I. So already we have calculated I. Substitute is this I, this or this I value in this equation and simplify. We will get VTH is equal to. So we will get 
नाइन टू थ्री माइनस जे नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स वन फाइव इट एस नाइन पॉइंट एट जीरो एट एन एंगल ऑफ माइनस सेवेंटी एट पॉइंट सेवेंटी वन डिग्री दिस इज द ओपन सर्किट वोल्टेज और वी टी एच नाउ लेट्स कैलकुलेट आर टी एच सो टू फाइंड आर टी एच वी हैव टू शॉर्ट सर्किट द वोल्टेज सोर्स सो हियर वी हैव टू वोल्टेज सोर्सेज वी सपोज टू शॉर्ट सर्किट दीज टू वोल्टेज सोर्स सो द सर्किट लुक्स लाइक दिस So let's calculate RTH. To find RTH, short voltage sources. So here, let me short circuit this voltage source and this voltage source. The circuit looks like this. So now in this circuit, we can see that. Now we have to find the equivalent resistance between terminal A and B. That is nothing but RTH. So here we can see RTH is nothing but these two are in series. These two are in series. That whole combination is in parallel. That is phi plus J phi is in parallel with three minus J four. So let me simplify this. That is product between these two plus sum between these two. That is phi plus J five into three minus J four divided by sum of these two five plus J five plus three minus J four. So simplifying this, so we will get four point two three zero minus J one point one five three. Now let me draw the equivalent circuit. So equivalent circuit is nothing but VTH is connected in series with RTH. Equivalent circuit that is we have VTH. This is VTH should be connected in series with RTH. And this is terminal A, and here we have terminal B. So value of VTH is already we have found VTH, which is. 9.80 minus 78.71, or we can write this 9.80 at an angle of minus 78.71 minus 78.71, and R T H value is 4.230, 4.230. We have one point one five three, one point one five three. So here we have ZL. So the ZL will receive the maximum power when ZL value is complex conjugate of RTH. That is to receive ZL as a maximum power, ZL must be equal to RTH star. That is complex conjugate of RTH. Therefore, ZL must be equal to Four point two three zero plus J complex conjugate means minus J should be replaced by plus J one point one five three. So now considering Z L as this value, we'll try to find what is the maximum power that Z L will receive. For that, first we have to find current in the circuit. Let I is the current in the circuit. So here I can write I is equal to V by R. So V is 9.80 at an angle minus 78.71 divided by these two RTH plus ZL. So it is 4.230 plus 4.230. This and this will get cancelled. So simplifying this, we'll get get 1.158. So directly feed these values in the calculator, keeping calculator in complex mode at an angle of Minus seventy eight point seventy one degree. So this is the amps. Now we'll see the maximum power. That is, maximum power. I can write P max is equal to I square into Z L. I square into 
ZL. So here we have to consider only magnitude. So magnitude is 1.158 square into, we have to consider only the register value that is 4.230, 4.230. So simplifying this, we will get 5.67. 